It's such a great pleasure to welcome everybody to Shipley Arts Festival, one of the finest and most um, collaborative and inclusive festivals in the United Kingdom. Only it now goes further than that. We have a Hong Kong chapter and a Shaman chapter in China, and we're delighted to bring both sides of the globe together out of the grassroots of who we are here in West Sussex. When I say inclusive, I'm thinking of all of the communities in the festival, because we're many communities that come together and celebrate and enrich through the music we commission and the music that we play and the charity that we give through the causes that we like to support, as well as, which obviously include, world-class music. This year, the breadth has been the largest in our 19th year as part of the Horsham Year of Culture. Our six sponsors absolutely reflect our values. NFU Mutual, Tuvis, Wakefields, the oldest, probably one of the oldest firm, family firms in the county. Nightingale, the world's finest sparkling wine. Creston Reeves, I think our leading accountancy firm in the county. Uh, they so reflect what we are as a festival and I very much hope to develop those relationships. I should lastly mention Rosana, uh, which you'll see being um, referred to more as the Luxury Cave as their business expands internationally in the coming year. These are great friends of mine and ours and great believers who translate music and community. And as we, as we deepen our roots in the county, we will also create a greater influence in the wider world. Even more importantly, the very long-standing Festival Friends, 280 Festival Friends and rising rapidly, um, who really make sure that the very centre of the festival is in the roots of, of the fields and the country houses where we play and the churches. I'm this year particularly proud because not only do we have this is very strong collection of musicians who in themselves have their own community now, we also, um, as I say, we've, we have our exchange program, which has become established. Um, our great partners, the Yehudi Menuhin School, are hosting our second summer school, which will be a blend of 50-50 UK String Academy students from Sussex and also our visitors from China and Hong Kong. I think, as with all festivals, our headline soloists are important. There are many this year. Particular highlights would be Roderick Williams, um, and we're so glad to have that collaboration with Roddy, um, well known as the world's finest baritone. We're discovering is one of the world's finest composers, and the Net Piano Trio could not come more out of the roots. Um, my cellist Johnny Few said it was the best, uh, the Net Castle concert we did was the best program concert he'd ever been involved in, ever. And I hope Johnny doesn't mind me quoting that, but I think it was extraordinary the way Roddy picked his tunes from the Schubert songs and he described the turtle doves um, which sadly may even be extinct in this country soon but they're being the last the last sort of nine pairs are being nurtured and looked after at Nep Castle in the Wilding Project. So that's a great example of something very local in the Wilding Project and the tunes that were collected on the um, locally by Vaughan Williams coming out in a new piece which we Form um, partially in this in this film clip.
other thoughts, other pieces, obviously the Ralph Vaughan Williams Lark Ascending, which I've played many times, and I'm very grateful for such kind comments from the press and the media on those performances. Um, other great artists, Christopher Steele Perkins, um, the world's finest Baroque trumpeter. But alongside those people, equally, I could name all the musicians who play for us, and they all have an equal part in, in bringing together those communities. One of the great symbols of Western art as a whole are the Stradivarius violins and one of the great privileges and responsibilities I've had for the past five years is playing on the wonderful Stradivarius which you will have heard in the festival. And I'm obviously very grateful to all of our investors for, for supporting that. Um, it has been a great success in all ways and uh, we very much hope to be able to carry that part of the project forwards for many years to come um, as I develop as a musician um, and also as we all develop around this wonderful violin which we took the name for for our trio, the Stradivarius Piano Trio. Youth music is cent central and essential. Um, we're just so proud that past pupils now include the manager of Glyndebourne, the manager of Royal Opera House, uh, Bournemouth Symphony have one of our protégés, and um, also we have two wonderful people who uh, play with us now currently actually, and also serve on the junior staff at Trinity Laban Conservatoire, Europe's finest dance music conservatoire. So we really bring these points of excellence together, but in the fields, and these fields really celebrate community and our sponsors, our friends, um, are reflected in the music we perform. We promise something of national significance to the district councillors and the team for the Horsham of Culture in 2019. Dragons went far beyond that. It was extraordinary we were getting demand for this piece literally out to Asia. And no one deserves more thanks than Malcolm Singer, the brilliant composer who put together these set of songs. We commissioned a new orchestration for strings and for large choir. And I'm so grateful to the fabulous music teachers and head teachers in the schools of Bohunt, Greenway, Leechpool, Southwater Junior School, the Weald School, particularly with Mr. Ian Gardner, Mundersham House, great prep schools, and the specialist music school, the Yehudi Menuhin School, one of the finest string schools in the world. They came together, together with our String Academy, which draws on 200 schools in the county. They all came together, and over 290 you can see in this footage. You'll also notice the church is absolutely capacity filled to the edges. This was something of great importance in terms of artistic standards of performance, but also the way in which students were taken way beyond themselves. They forgot themselves completely. They were so absorbed by the music. It took us two years to put this project together. I hope you enjoy the results that you can see here now. And thank you to Arts Council England for having the vision to support us and to also look to take forward the concept we've shown you here. And we very much look forward to seeing more of this kind of project in the future, as well as supporting and giving pathways to young people in the district and beyond. I'm very much looking forward to 2020, which conveniently in numbers terms is our 20th anniversary as a festival. And we have some very, very special things lined up for next year to take things even further forwards. So I very much look forward to you continuing with us or joining us for the first time and really taking something which is the best of British um, and more importantly, um, uh, the, the, the best of community. Thank you very, very much indeed for sharing with us constantly. Thank you.